Mining really was the reason to some extent that we have the state of Arizona. It was mining that brought in the people, that brought in the businesses, that brought in the transportation. Without mining, Arizona would not be. The story of Arizona is the story of copper. Arizona leads the nation in copper production, supplying about 64% of domestic copper. Thanks to a strong workforce and innovative mining and processing technologies, copper mining is central to Arizona's success. Mining in Arizona stretches back over 3,000 years. The earliest miners were Native Americans who sought turquoise and other minerals. Prospectors began arriving in the mid-1800s. It soon became clear that the real wealth lay not on or near the surface, but in the mineral veins deep underground. By the 1870s, commercial mining operations throughout Arizona were underway. The Metcalf brothers began mining the area around Clifton. In 1881, a mining engineer named James Douglas acquired claims in Bisbee for Phelps Dodge and Company. Phelps Dodge eventually bought mines in Globe, Morency, Jerome, and elsewhere, and not only became the largest mining company in the state, but also a company of worldwide importance. Historically, copper was used for alloys, roofing, and decoration. Copper's conductive properties were discovered upon the invention of the telegraph. However, it was the early stages of electric power distribution in the 1890s that caused the demand for copper to skyrocket. By 1910, one in four people in Arizona worked as a miner. Copper demand grew during World War II, and the post-war manufacturing boom further fueled Arizona's copper industry. Copper delivered electricity to homes and businesses throughout the United States, and it became an essential component of household appliances, such as the telephone, the refrigerator, and the television. The average American used 25 pounds of copper a year. As high-grade ore became harder to find, copper mine owners began to experiment with ways to extract low-grade ore on a large scale. Nevertheless, in the 1970s, mines began to close as copper deposits were depleted. To sustain the copper industry, mining engineers pushed the boundaries of mining technology. Today's latest breakthroughs can reach heretofore inaccessible ore. Developments in block caving and in situ mining will minimize environmental impact and ensure safe extraction of Arizona's copper wealth. The University of Arizona remains instrumental in finding innovative mining solutions. When the university was created in 1885, the mines were getting deeper underground, which meant that they needed more technical professionals. So mining engineering became one of the founding programs for the University of Arizona. We're looking at ways that we can lower water consumption, uh, lower energy consumption, look at more renewable energy technologies in support of mining or using disturbed mine lands. We can now make Arizona one of the world leaders for sustainable mining technology. Currently, new mines and expansions of existing mines are being developed. For example, the Morency Mine in eastern Arizona, first mined in 1872 and now owned by Freeport Mac Moran Copper and Gold, continues to increase its production rate and remains a premier copper mining operation. Copper is as important today as it was a hundred years ago. It enhances our world and is essential to our daily lives. Copper is the foundation for sustainable technology and products that move societies toward a cleaner, healthier, and better tomorrow. Mining built Arizona, and it is critical to the state's future success. The Copper Star will continue to shine in Arizona. <laughs>